I'm the Mighty Blues, and welcome back to Danganronpa! Last time, we reconvened with everyone in the group, and we really didn't find Jack all when it comes to information on the school. Basically, all we learned is that everyone has their own unique rooms. That's about it. And now, we sleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I wake up, I realize this was all a dream? Just become Kingdom Hearts at that point. It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Too bad this isn't Kingdom Hearts. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy! Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you are all students at Ho of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! By stabbing you! Ding dong, bing bong! <laughs> Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Listen, there is nothing you're gonna do to get me to wake up at 7 in the morning. That is far too early in the morning! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Give me, like, another three hours, and I'm good. Hell, sometimes till 10 a.m. is too early. But I also can't blame anyone but myself because I just look over at the time and I'm recording this video at 1 in the morning. Apparently it's morning. But thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna he go head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh. Hi, Taka. Hey. Good morning, Makoto! G good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. T sure. I wonder if he's always like this. I get the feeling yes. I get the feeling yes. Where is Sayaka's room? Is it literally right next to mine? There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. <gasps> Ding dong! Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? Um, listen. listen I have a favor to ask. Motherfucker! That's the X button! Again, I swear, it is not a bit. I am not trying to do that on purpose. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Uh, yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Um, oh, um... I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here should could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself, so no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym yesterday had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Uh, again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing to it intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? No, you're just stupid. Anyway, we should have the gym. <laughs> Sometimes my bluntness even even astonishes myself. For any 
anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been, or places that are blocked off. Depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. I actually know what the map button is. It's it's the X button. Trust I I figured that one out. It's the X button. Kitchen, dining hall. Oh, here we go. I figured it out. Blues, for the love of God, that is the X button. We established that already. Is this a sword? Oh, no. I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched it and got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um... Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> But I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should probably wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka so giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from her heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Hang on, the room has to load again. Alright. I swear to God, I swear to God, this is not a bit. I promise. Um, hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's something you want to talk about, then we can just... If there's nothing you want to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored. Just standing around doing nothing? Uh, um. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just... I... I haven't really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. Same... Same. I am far too busy to do nothing. I, I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <gasps> I actually pressed the right button this time! I did it! Probably no one believed in me, but I believed in myself. Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. 
that she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see... I honestly believe that as long as you keep chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current, without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. <sighs> Welcome to the world of entertainment, sweetheart. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun! But... But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, and they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means if I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever? At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Uh, uh... While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka? Why? Why? I can't afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way? The dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. That isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. Honestly? I kind of feel that. Like, content creation is something that has always been a passion of mine. It's something that I've wanted to do as a full-time job. And as someone who never allows themselves to take breaks, and the only reason why I took an, you know, almost year-long break was because I went to school? During that time? Uh, yeah, no, I definitely get the feeling of, like, you know, if you're not there 24-7, if you're not working 24-7, you get left behind. It's not a good mindset to have. But I get it. The entertainment industry demands it. No matter where it is, whether you're self-employed or you're for a company, that's the lifestyle. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um... I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um... Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before I head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? 
So... Okay. <laughs> you want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. Then your mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? A little stuff like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. She worries me. I'm not... I don't feel safe around her. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. Oh, hey, I do have the sword. Look at that. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like it's just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Sure. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates and deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which you can potentially give them a better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Momo machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly enjoy, uh, encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. And keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try try why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? That is not a sound effect I was expecting with free time. Okay. Why can't I teleport to Sayaka's room? It literally will not let me teleport to her room. Which, like, I guess that makes sense because, you know, she's literally right there. Um, listen. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Yeah, I guess I got time to spend some time with Sayaka. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take time of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. You didn't see any of it because it's a visual novel. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. I don't have anything, do I? Oh wait, no, I have the school crest. Sorry, but you can't. We can't let you give her that. It's what we in the industry like to call a key item. Okay. Do I literally have nothing? I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have anything. Um, Makoto. Do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're here with me. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but it's kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. 
You're being, you being here is what saved me. Uh, really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. The mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um... Do you remember? During our first year of junior high, that huge bird ordered into the sky. <laughs> into the school pond. Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every million. The turtle wants every million years. The bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. Uh, is it a crane? It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led it into the forest behind the school. You have to find its way out. <laughs> well, it's only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. I should have thanked you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. That is a sentence I was not expecting to read. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. But... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. So I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we met again in a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe... But still, I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You'll save me. You see. It's just my two it's just intuition. I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> She's really going on that whole I'm psychic. <laughs> closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. You just unlocked the skill, Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Ding dong, bing bong! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Today's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear! As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. 
Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from any, anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel the same... I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Ahem! So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter! It seems our newest students are already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape! Hoo <laughs> So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart-pounding excitement! Ding dong bing bong! Morning has come. What should I do today? Oh boy, more free time! Okay. I'm assuming at this point we will have free reign to just explore everywhere, right? Which means... Let's check the map. I'm assuming we're actually going to be able to explore every single room, right? So if that's the case... I kind of want to actually... Oh! Hey, Sakura! Hello. Did you need something? Hmm. Should I talk to Sakura for a while? Ah, uh, we'll go check around. What are you? A room I can't enter. And nothing that way. Oh, Sayaka! You see? Oh, Makoto? You wanted me? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I guess we can. Oh, you want to talk to her for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I spent time chatting with Sayaka. I don't have a present, so no. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again. What's going on? And so polite again. I'd like to ask. Do you have a girlfriend? What? That's like way out of nowhere. Um, huh? Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't. A girlfriend? No, not at all. Um, listen. And you at least have a crush on someone? J just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not that it's bad. I... But it's only, be, it's only natural I'd be curious, right? Because we're... We're... <laughs> because we're classmates! Going through the same thing together! Damn, not even friend-zoned. But... Although, that's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. <gasps> more than that?! <laughs> We're friends! We've been friends since middle school in a way. Alright, first, I was not even friend zoned. I was. School zoned? That's not a term. Well, it is a term, but that's not the right. Whatever. School zoned. Now I'm friend zoned. What's next? I'm gonna be girlfriend zoned? Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh, um. So, aren't you going to ask me? Huh? What? Um, listen. No, not what. Are you going to ask if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not like I don't want to know. Of course, I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh no. Nope. I definitely don't. 
Truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Same! Trust me, as much as I'd like to get back into the dating scene, uh-uh, too busy. <laughs> Between trying to find a new job, trying to work my already existing job, and trying to keep up with Let's Plays, <sighs> yeah, no. No time for boys. Th then, do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Who is it? <laughs> who is it and who do I have to kill? <laughs> Sound like Batman there for a second. Sayaka stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tinged with red. Wait. Me? <laughs> just imagine Makoto's just like, YOU ASSHOLE! And just like starts stabbing himself. He's like, how could you take her from me? But... But he needed to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Y yeah, you're right. Hey, um... Let's get out of here together, Makoto. No matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Uh, of course. I would never turn my back on you. Uh, um... I want you to know something, Makoto. And I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is now my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka! <laughs> I'm so happy you're gonna do your best for me. <laughs> what? You heard me? Like I said, I'm psychic. Okay. Um... Is that really what you were thinking? Uh, um... Well... Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do purpose for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I carved with those words into the walls of my soul. Wait, your soul your soul has walls too? Shit, she can hear my thoughts! Sarah's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go! I don't know what that means. After vowing to Sayaka to give it my all, I went back to my room. Still a lot of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Wait. If I'm gonna take a look around, why does the game keep sending me back to my room? Oh, hi, Sayaka! I'm going to assume I need to talk to you. <laughs> Out for a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah! <laughs> I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. Would you like to give her a present? No! I'm broke! Ding dong, ping pong! When will I. No. We. When are we gonna get out of here? Never! I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I had fallen into an uneasy sleep. Is that a... Is that a car? I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up! If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret! What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course! That's why Formula One drivers are so popular! Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow! 
Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or the breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. <laughs> Meanwhile, 0 0.000002 seconds later. Ding dong, bing bong. Yeah, I get the feeling that it's the same dialogue every single day. I woke to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can, day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, ding dong! The sound of a doorbell forced its way to my room. I'm willing to bet that Sayaka. Hey. Oh no, it's Taka. A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Taka. Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Alright, what do you want? What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may better me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. Yay! I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized you were just like me trying to make history. <laughs> Again, I will never, I will never stop. I will always. <laughs> Always reference Metal Gear Rising when I can. Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen. And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it. That's all for now. I have to let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Alright, let's do it! Dining hall time! Actually, can't we teleport? Or fast travel? Uh, is it not gonna let me? Yeah, it's definitely not gonna let me do that. I guess I could talk to some of the characters around here. Because there's Toko. Wait. I thought some of the other characters... No? None of them are here. Alright, whatever. Actually, you know what? There's no reason to leave right now. Wait, I wanted to go talk to Toko! Alright, whatever. Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Is it gonna be like breakfast Quiet stream? Cause I like breakfast stream. That's a great that's a great series. Shout outs to Steven George for breakfast stream. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't even make time for shit. You dragged me here. Mm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. 
I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything! It can be about how to get out! Or who's doing this? Nobody has anything? Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that! <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah sounds like the girl who wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> mm hmm. Sure. Feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Uh, um... Huh? Huh? What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? God damn it, Blues! Blues! That is the X button! That is not the button you should be pressing! The murderous fiend. Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Uh, well, uh, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys ever heard of Genocide Jack? You mean the serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at, at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. But on the internet, they started calling him... <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Hmm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay! Everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt gonna be okay! Because help's gonna be here soon! I'm sure of it. <laughs> huh? Uh, help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> that is the laughter of, no, you're completely wrong. What's this? <laughs> the police! You're putting your face in the police? Bastard! <laughs> Bastard! What are you doing here? You guys... You guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? <laughs> I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill! <laughs> what the hell? 
Why the hell are you laughing? You know? Well, I'm just impressed with the total commitment of this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Sil serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. You know who you really are. Yeah. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think... Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out. In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. Well, what are you... Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell you, it's motive! Poo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> it's so simple! I just have to give everyone a motive! Stop fucking around! Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys! You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject! I have a little video I'd like you all to see. But, oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. <laughs> I, I don't have a terrifying storage of my porn in the, in the closet. <laughs> don't look at it. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> Oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can watch the video right now. We're actually not. We're going to call things here. Thank you all so much for watching. And next time on Danganronpa, we're apparently going to watch Monokuma's porn collection. Never thought I'd find myself saying that. I'm gonna go wash my mouth now. Goodbye! <laughs>